All right, Jesse on Fire, welcome back to the channel. Now, we have got to talk about this police report that just came out on John Jones, uh, the John Jones incident in Vegas, the arrest, because, my goodness, it's 100 times worse than I thought it was going to be. I mean, this is serious. This is a bad story. Like, it's like a legit bad story. It's bad enough that I actually have to preface this because generally when there are like street fight things or like someone gets arrested, the tone that I generally take is I'm like making fun of people, right? It's like I'm just making a joke out of it. This is pretty serious and serious in a way where like, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. I always try to not be like the default, like cliche guy. So it's like, it sounds like there was some physical stuff between John and his fiance. And, you know, I think most people are like, oh, uh, well, geez, I guess we better, you know, uh, any man that puts a hand on a woman should go to the gas chamber. Like, okay, I'm not five years old, right? Like, I I mean, I certainly agree a dude should never put a hand on a girl, but I'm also not five, so I can empathize with everybody involved, including John, because it sounds like he's really going through some shit here, man. Like, this is a bad story. This is like a legitimately bad story. And I recognize I am the luckiest guy on earth when it comes to that particular category. Like, that, I have, it took me a long time to recognize it. But uh, where a lot of people were beating me in different categories, nobody's beaten me in that one. And I don't take that for granted in any capacity ever. So I'm going to go ahead and just read this story because, man. Uh, but if you like the content, subscribe and ring the bell. Even on a story like this that is not that, you know, fun or funny, we're still building a YouTube audience, aren't we? And so you better, dude, don't be the last one on this train, man. Like, don't be last. Don't be last. Okay, I only have 37,000 subscribers. I'm getting a million views a month. I'm pretty sure it's only not just 37,000 people that are doing the million views. So get on the train, dude. This thing is only going this direction. So anyway, let's read this thing. All right, so John Jones police report reveals disturbing details surrounding arrest. Fiance found with blood on her face and clothes. Yikes. Uh, so new details surrounding John Jones' recent arrest have been revealed after the police report from the incident was released by the Las Vegas Police Department. I still can't fucking believe this story, man. Uh, according to the report, officers responded to a domestic disturbance at Caesars Palace after a call stating that a white female adult, later identified as Jones' fiance, Jesse Moses, was bleeding from her nose and mouth. Uh, after police arrived, they were informed that the suspect had just left the property and was picked up by another unit outside the hotel where he identified himself as John Jones. Police then stated that the UFC champion resisted arrest as he was being taken into custody. So he fought the cops. He smashed his head into their patrol car and left like this huge dent in the patrol car. And it, it, I, like the, the, the way they make him sound in the report is crazy. So he's getting charged with a felony for headbutting the car. Like he headbutted their car. Uh, and I would imagine if he headbutted the car, he probably was already cuffed or something. Cause why would you headbutt it versus punch it? But, uh, but anyway, so it says that he's, he's getting charged with disabling a vehicle. Anyway, so back at Caesar's Palace, police made contact with Moses. Okay, bottom line, here's exactly what happened, right? So John Jones' wife, or spouse, I'm sorry, goes down, to the, goes down to the front desk asking for a key to her room with blood on her face. And they're like, are you okay, ma'am? And one of his kids was like, call the fucking cops. So they call the cops. And I mean, to, to, to state this just high level, she basically admitted that he had put hands on her, but was very cagey with exactly what he did. They said that she sounded terrified to be talking about him. That's in the report, that she was very afraid to be talking about him. She didn't want to press charges. She asked when she could get him out of jail. Uh, it was something about he grabbed her hair because, he was, because she was trying to leave the room. So she's trying to leave the room and he's grabbing her by the hair and not letting her leave. Uh, police then observed blood on her clothing. Uh, and a bump with dried up blood on the lower part of her lip as if she had been in a physical altercation. Uh, she said, I know my lips are really dry. Okay, so like a bump on the lip. Like if you guys have any experience with violence, if you get punched in the lip, you know, it'll bump up sometimes. I mean, I'm not saying that he punched her, I'm just, but uh, I mean, I have no idea what happened actually. But after the initial call to police came after... Uh, or the initial call, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so the, the front desk called the security. Uh, police it conducted an interview. But like with John, it's like the, the thing that's actually most concerning about this is how crazy it sounds like John went when they got him. I mean, you got to keep in mind, it's like 530 in the morning. 
And so John might have been on one or whatever, but John, they said that he was alternating from completely flipping out on them, like screaming at them. And then he would just start crying, like crying, then flip out. Then he'd start joking around with them. And then he was like alternating between these huge emotional swings. And, uh, you know, listen, like I would imagine that yeah, he, okay, so look, listen to this. Police added that Jones joked he could escape the handcuffs, but officers told him if he continued to resist arrest, then he would be tased, at which point he apologized and complied with the officers. You got to keep, like, think about it like this, okay? So if you get in a situation like that, right, like where you're in that heated an altercation with your girlfriend, spouse. Now, I've never had a situation like that with Gabrielle, nor will I ever, but I do remember what it's like. You know, like, I, <laughs> the reason I, the reason I, uh, value my relationship with Gabrielle so much is because all of my prior relationships were fucked, right? Like I had girls that like, I mean, just would drive you nuts, man. And would go crazy. Like I was dealing with like unhinged ladies, which is for sure heavily my fault. But I remember that level of anger, like where you're just like, and you're just like, you, like all the, it's, it's an anger you could only feel towards like a person you're romantically involved in. Like another person actually can't make you that mad. It's partially also because if it's a dude, you would actually attack them. You know, like you, if you ever get that mad, you if you get that mad at a dude, you're gonna fight them. And when it's a girl that you're in a relationship with, you're not, I mean, you're not gonna attack them. I mean, even if John did elbow her or something like that, consider what he could do to her if he really wanted to hurt her, okay? Like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not excusing his behavior at all, but I'm just saying like, my point is how angry you get in that situation. Again, that has literally never happened ever with me and Gabrielle, nor will it ever. But, uh, but I do remember, dude. I absolutely do. And then, so you put yourself in that place, right? He's that mad. He's outside of the, of the thing. He's, he's been running on fumes probably because he's out at 530. The police roll up on him. He's still heated, dude. Like he's still super mad. And then he starts getting arrested. So he's flipping out and he's simultaneously processing holy shit i'm getting arrested again like i'm getting arrested again and he's it's it, he's like double tracking like oh my god this is going to be another headline of me getting arrested this is going to be a fucking nightmare so he's still mad he's emotionally cycling through that and then he's also getting hit with the emotion of oh my this is going to be this is going to be the worst thing ever and then he starts to process what he's getting arrested for when they tell him it's for domestic violence and it's just like oh my god you know and he's just all over the place i i can understand how that would happen but I don't know. I hope he gets it together, man. Like this, this is the first time that I've actually heard or, or read like an arrest story from John where I was like, damn, I'm actually concerned for this guy. All the other ones were just like, man, this guy just parties and he makes bad decisions when he's super drunk. Like, and I know a million guys like that. And every time I look at him on, on camera, he just looks like he's charming and chill. He just is one of those guys that when he gets blitzed, he's out of control and he's a huge dude. And so sometimes he gets locked up like, that's what all, every other arrest look like for me. Bad decisions from a guy who likes to get really drunk. This is like, man, he's like troubled right now. He, this is like, this guy's not in a good place. He hasn't fight, he's not fighting. He said he was gonna, you know, he gained all this weight to go to heavyweight. And then he's like, no, I'm not gonna fight till next year. It's like, he just, I don't know, man. This, this sounds like a person who, but this is a real bad look, man. This is a bad look. Anyway, this is what I got. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, peace.